So I'm getting all my ingredients together for my pretzel crusted chicken fingers. And I gotta say, Jade loves these. I think every kid loves chicken fingers. I love them as well. So this is a family favorite. So what I did was, I basically took one and a half cups of pretzels, and they can be any pretzels you've got in the kitchen. And I think it makes for a really great coating on the chicken, because it creates this crunch that is, I think, phenomenal. Okay, so I've got half a cup of flour, a couple of eggs that I beat, and I add a little salt to those two, just seasoning each layer. And then I've got my pretzels. I'm gonna get rid of my rolling pin and start heating up my pan. I'm gonna turn the heat on, and we're gonna use some grapeseed oil. You could also use vegetable oil. Half a cup. You just wanna coat the bottom of the pan. We're gonna pan fry these, not deep fry them. And while my pan gets hot, let's go grab some chicken. So what I like to do for chicken fingers is actually buy a breast of chicken. And what I do is I just ask my butcher for um, a breast of chicken and then I have them slice it. Most people like to just buy the little chicken fingers, but I like how tender and moist the chicken breast stays. It's about a pound of chicken breast. Obviously no skin, no ribs. And we take one chicken piece and dip it in the flour, a really light coating, then in the egg. And it's the combo of these three that create this great crust on the chicken. And in the pan we go. These make a great snack. In fact, when I make them, I make a double batch so that I can keep them in the fridge and I can snack on them. They make a great midnight snack, truly. I finished cooking my chicken fingers, and they smell divine. Now it's time to make a little doctored up ketchup. Half a cup of regular ketchup. And to the regular ketchup, I'm gonna add a few little flavors to it to kind of just give it a little more of a flair. So we're gonna add some Madras curry powder and some fennel pollen. It's super yummy. I love the Madras curry powder. Now, Madras curry powder is a little bit stronger and more potent than regular curry powder. Um, what I like about it is it's sort of a, a cross between a little cayenne pepper, a little heat from cayenne pepper, and sweetness and warmth of cinnamon. It doesn't have as much turmeric as other curry powders have, and so it has a little more flavor, about a quarter teaspoon of curry powder. So we've got that. Next. Oh, one of my favorites. It's a little indulgence of mine, fennel pollen. And fennel pollen has a very strong um, scent of licorice. So if you love licorice, you will love this. You could use fennel seeds if you wanted to, but I think this is fantastic. Um, sometimes it's a little hard to find at the grocery store, but um, you can always order it online. A little bit goes a long way. In fact, I'm only using a quarter teaspoon in here. And all of these flavors cut through the sweetness of ketchup and give it its own little flavor. And I think with the pretzel crust on the chicken, it makes them extra special. And the ketchup is done. And I take my little chicken finger with that beautiful little crust, That crust rocks, so good. And when you need a late night munchie, this hits the